Hello and welcome to the lecture. So let's continue with the dynamic actions and we were discussing on the browser events which we were to see and for sure you can understand what all these events were and you can avoid dynamic actions on these events based on what you wanted and yeah that's through the javascript and the jquery so suppose you want to you know you're adding a click event right so this click is on the button that opens the model dialog if you remember so we can add our own event into that instead of defining you know one more action and writing it you can add your own on this you know the page load here that will be added if you are trying to you know add a function here that will be you know stored in the script side and that's the way same thing you'll be adding a event listener here in this javascript or jquery so we'll start with you know adding to our console first so that we can understand so let's take this model for now so it's opening here only the action which we saw that's opening the model dialog through the ajax go back so let us add one event listener here on the click of this so we will add javascript first so i'm adding document dot get element by id and i will use this static id if you remember that is s underscore open model so this way we are gonna select this one and hope it returns okay i didn't close the bracket um, quotes and hope it returns here with the button and we'll add a event listener so this adds event you know listener and i will add a this one that is the event name we have to add as the first parameter so it comes with click just correct the spelling here and this is about the function we have to pass it as a callback here so once this has happened we need to execute that and that execution should be in the form of a function so that when it happens it executes the function and this like a callback here we are defining the function that's the thing so javascript is more a functional programming language earlier now it's like an object oriented side after the year six and all the concepts came in and it became popular and let us you know add it hope you can get it so we'll just add you know like a alert message like an alert like uh, open model is clicked through js that's javascript and we have added our open model here now if i try to you know click on this it's now executing the alert what we have entered because we have added an event there and it's not you know overriding the old event it's just adding a new event the old one works as well and this is about that so even you can remove the event listener which you have defined and you can add it on your page load as well so that this will be triggered and you need not uh, worry about you know defining here so we will just uh, go through one more example that's through jquery and we will use the you know dollars of that element that is an id right so it will be ash and i'm pasting that and for jquery it's an on function it will be very useful with the on you can add child selectors as well and we will add our event here so we will add the click the same thing and let me correct the spelling and the same function callback applies here so this way we can write it in our own and i will use the alert yeah, alert here and this would be through you know open model click through jquery so we will see that now we will be getting one more action now we are seeing through js 
and even the our own dynamic action so now we will try to execute this and this has added now we will be seeing three actions now first is jquery then the javascript then the our dynamic action so in this way we can attach events not only through dynamic actions we can add through js if you want to minify your dynamic action you can make use of this and still you can make it a more you know generic way if you want you can create a function and if it's using the same action inside the function block you can make the variables through a parameter inside a function in that way you can define and whatever you want instead of creating dynamic actions on each you know uh, elements so you can make the element as a parameter and add the actions as the same and that's all this covers the dynamic actions now hope you got uh, some great insights about how it is designed and how to use it and how it is you know to be called and what are the best practices and how do we define some events on our own and how it is to be you know use the custom event as well with that can help other events and yes so that's about it it's more about the client side programming here the front end development will enjoy this thing using the dynamic actions and adding the own customizations so this ends the dynamic action side and we'll see more topics in the later sections we'll see about the interactive grid and even some apex apis which are specific to javascript in the coming lectures